pulmonary valve stenosis. Percutaneous balloon pulmonary valvulotomy is preferred in moderate to severe pulmonary stenosis. It is the first-line treatment of typical dome-shaped valvular pulmonary stenosis in severe stenosis. Gradient greater than 60 mm of mercury, BPV is also the preferred treatment in neonates with critical pulmonary stenosis. The method of valvuloplasty was the same for each patient, regardless of age. Both groins were prepared and draped, and the number 5F sheath was introduced percutaneously into the right femoral vein. Then, number 5F catheter was advanced from the right femoral vein to the left pulmonary artery. The number 5F catheter were removed, leaving the guide wire in place. And, and 0.035 inch diameter, 200 centimeters length, angioplasty J guide wire asterisk was introduced through the catheter and positioned. Then, the selection of appropriate balloon size was based on measurement of the dimension of the valve annulus, as determined from the Cine angiogram. All air was evacuated from the balloon and as a test, it was filled and emptied several times. It was then wrapped around the catheter in a clockwise direction. After that, the balloon was inflated by hand pressure. After inflation, the wasting, visible indentation of the balloon caused by the stenotic valve of the balloon was observed by fluoroscopy, and the inflation pressure required to eliminate the indentation of the balloon was noted by an assistant. Disappearance of the waste occurred suddenly as the valve was opened. After that, deflate the balloon and give adequate negative pressure and remove the balloon. Finally, the venous catheter and arterial cannula were removed from the right groin and hemostasis was achieved by direct compression.